Ryan here with Tri County Locksmith Service. Today we're going to install a digital keypad lock from Schlage. Uh, these have been out for a little while, but Schlage is making new improvements to them, and um, you're going to be able to incorporate your digital locks in with uh, security systems and operate them remotely. And um, they're really doing some cool stuff with it. So it really it's sticking around the keypad system. Um, and so I just want to do a video to show you how to install one. Um, right here we're going to have all the parts laid out and we're going to go ahead and put this in. We've already put the plate on here. Uh, actually the last hardware was the, the same color on this dummy door that we have set up. Uh, so the first thing we're going to get is the latch. This latch doesn't need adjustment. It'll work for two and three eighths and two and three quarter backspacing because it will allow the um, the square connecting rod to come through either or. So determine which way the door is going to go into the jam and position the latch so it will go in that way. Then install the latch like so. I'm doing this on a door that's already got the holes drilled out for it simply because most people are going to be replacing an existing lock so it's already going to be set up like this and it's going to save time for the video it takes quite a while to do a fresh installation but you can check the website for a video on a fresh installation if you need that information just go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com and check out the how-to videos so we're going to get this latch screwed in here. Like so. And make sure right inside the lock here is your code. There's a programming code and a user code. Um, you want to go ahead and write those down. They come with all your paperwork, but I always like to write it down just in case something happens and you throw away all the paperwork you have at least your programming code right here so let's see here it's going to go that way This is going to go on the outside, like so. Run your wire underneath that. And then you run the square through the hole that it's designed for. In this case, it's a 2 and 3 8 back set. So it's the first one. <clears throat> This right here is a screw designed to hold the plate, the back plastic plate for you. So that right there is really going to help out in the installation of this. It's going to go in this little hole right here and it's going to kind of help hold everything up while you put it together. Uh, the wires go through the square on the bottom like so. Where it goes directly in the middle, and you you hear it click. That's it catching on that little screw. This one's a little bit bent, but see now it holds the whole locking system together for a second while you put it together and hook up the wires. Now you're going to want to use a good Energizer or Duracell battery, nine volt. Either way, make sure they're brand new batteries. And then right here we're going to have the hookups. They should, there should be a, um, you'll be able to see one side has the pinholes, has a lot more room on it than the other side. So you line those up and click them together and you'll hear the lock beep. That way you'll know it's activated. Tuck your wires in like so. Then you're going to 
be installing this into here. Lighting everything up. If it's gone this far but not all the way yet, go ahead and adjust uh, the locking latch right here. Get it the last little bit to line up and it'll click right in for you. Then you're going to take the screws, pop them right in the screw holes. Phillips head screwdriver is really all you need to do this job. Tighten the screws up, make sure everything's nice and loose in there and free fitting. Just get you just want to barely get that snug and work the action. Make sure everything's working smooth. That's the key to making this whole thing work. Is make sure everything's working smooth every time you put a screw in or before you really tighten everything down. That's a step that a lot of people forget and then they get it all put together and it doesn't work properly. The, the latch will stick. So doing that during the installation helps out quite a bit. Pop this screw in right here. Until that snow. Work the action. Give it a little more. And lever back and forth with the screws trading tightening this will suck the lock together evenly okay I'm gonna work that hear it and you should hear a click that's it engaging and disengaging the outside lever so right now it's disengaged right now it is engaged this is how you control the locks so when you're home this Passage mode. This is locked mode. Okay? So now that the lock is on there, let's shut the door. Make sure it attaches or it catches properly. A um, couple of things to pay attention to here. Right here, with the growing concern of people credit carding locks, uh, people could slide a credit card in there and push that lock back like that. What they've done is engage this little piece here. Now if this piece is held back ever so slightly, the lock cannot be pushed in, like so. So what we're seeing is, is over here, that's catching right here. So we need to make sure that that's happening. And this is why I use my cutaway door to see that. You can see now the latch right there, we can't push that in. We can't push that in anymore. So that's the whole idea of that. The only way it could be opened up is with the lever. Because that has the other little piece caught. See? It catches and holds it right about like that which is what we want it to do. Very important part that a lot of people miss when setting up their lock. So, now that we know that everything is working properly, we can go ahead and enter, push the slag button, it'll light up everything nice and blue. We can enter the code that was on the back. Just like that. Then you wait a couple, wait a couple seconds, and then you can't open it anymore. See? So, all game entry, and you put in your code. That's the end. And that's just as easy as that. It's really easy to install these digital locks yourself. So I suggest, uh, if you can, try and get out there and. Uh, Give it a shot. Um, if not, a professional locksmith can always install them for you. This is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith Service. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, there are more videos as well at www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. Thank you.